ghosts. They're said to be just a legend, something of folklore. Well, we are here to prove that wrong. First, yeah, I saw it. Can you catch him on camera? <laughs> Stop freaking out! Whoa! I'm Jerry Walker, and I'm Ryan Lowry, and this is Ghost Freaks. Savannah, Georgia, a city that has seen many wars, countless battles, and natural disasters. It was seized by the British in 1778 and then fell from their control in 1782. Savannah was a staging ground and a major port for the African slave trade as well. It survived two fires and a yellow fever epidemic that nearly killed 10% of the local population in 1820, the year before the Sorrel Weed House was built, with tragedy already forsaking these lands. During the Civil War, it was in the way of Union General William Tecumseh Sherman's march to the sea, but he didn't burn it to the ground as he did Atlanta, because it was too beautiful. Instead, he gave it to Abraham Lincoln as a Christmas gift. The city has seen more than its fair share of death and destruction. Nearly every street corner of the city is a graveyard. The Sorrel Weed House shares some of this anguish. The main house was built in 1821 for Francis Sorrel, whose son, Moxie Sorrel, was a staff officer to Southern General James Longstreet, made famous in the gory Battle of Gettysburg. It was also a frequent vacation spot of Confederate General Robert E. Lee. This location has been known to be the most haunted home in the state of Georgia, and Savannah to be the most haunted city in America. People who have lived in the house have claimed to see apparitions of soldiers and slaves. I've had two distinct experiences that have really caused me to believe in, um, in ghosts. And um, like I said before, I was a huge skeptic. But um, my first experience, um, the one that stands out the most, was me seeing the apparition of a soldier. Some say they can even hear parties going on and doors closing by themselves while all the windows are shut. The second one, um, in my opinion, was the creepiest one um, because I heard tap dancing going on in the house. And all of a sudden, we hear this tap dancing going on. And we're downstairs in the basement, um, quote unquote, in the most haunted room. And so we're downstairs, and I hear this tap dancing going on. So from that point on, we just continued, and then more tap dancing started happening. I was like, okay, this is getting really creepy. They even claim to hear voices when they are by themselves calling out to them. Are these stories true? Is there any credibility to them? That's what we want to find out. The house even experienced tragedy with an unexpected event within the Sorrell family. Well, the story goes, Francis was having an affair with Miss Molly. And Miss Molly was a Haitian um, nursemaid. She was taking care of Matilda, his wife. Matilda did not handle it very well. She commits suicide. She runs back into the house and goes up into the... the yeah. She runs back into the house. Goes out that window to the balcony. Matilda leapt to her death from the third story balcony, landing head first in the courtyard. Wow. So Matilda commits suicide and she lands on her head outside in the courtyard. And uh, right at the base of the palm tree. Uh -huh. And when you walk up the stairs, that palm tree right there, well, she lands right there. I accidentally spit there. Yeah, he, he there. spit. Uh -huh. uh, he, uh -huh. he had to spit. And I don't he think, spit right where she died. I don't think Matilda likes me. She Fine. Might be no. Maybe, oh, um, maybe I'll we'll see her later. <laughs> I hope so. But, um, oh my god, Jerry. But that's what happens. And um, after that incident happens, well, we all know that Miss Molly is then murdered. And unfortunately, we don't know who killed Miss Molly. Um, the ex exact dates are unknown, um, I, especially for slaves, because people back then didn't keep records on slaves. Um, so we don't know the exact dates. <laughs> I'm just getting really weird yeah, vibes. Yeah, 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 I felt that. Yeah, I felt that. Oh there my god. A whole rush here. It, it went right by oh, me. Like, I felt oh. it right here. Yeah, that felt weird. I have a chill. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 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 Oh man. Oh my god. But uh, Miss Molly. Wait. She was did we close that door? Really, really heavy. Oh. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> wasn't that door wide open though? That door. This door. We've had. 
Ryan, this door was open like this and it just closed. We'll review the footage. I mean, yeah, this is a heavy door. Look at this. Yeah, you have to have some force to move this door. Analyzing the footage thereafter, we thought we had missed the event on camera. But when we zoomed into the reflection on this window, you can definitely see what appears to be the door behind us shutting as it gives off light reflection, with the door frames clearly visible. Here it is again in full view. That's a heavy door. Yeah, that's a, yeah the, door, the doors are all original in the house. We couldn't believe all the activity we were getting the night before the investigation. In order to lighten the mood, we decided to take in the city's southern atmosphere. <laughs> oh, what's up, ladies? How's it going? Woo! 60 degrees out here. Oh, more like and 50 we'll or something. Well, we're the only ones wearing shorts. A short sleeve shirt. Yeah, looks like we're. Oh, look at those pin rags! Look at those pin rags! <laughs> That's a big There's fire. Oh, dude. That sucks. Up. All right, so we're walking along and uh, we found this. <laughs> I really don't know what to say to that. Man, that's creepy. I don't, don't know what to say to that. Holy crap. Look at that. It's a Man. full skeleton outline. It's like someone was burned there. That's Savannah for you. It can't go any more up than it already is. Look at this. Go up when you're supposed to go down. It's not too long from our investigation. Getting pumped up. Yeah, we've only got a few hours left, then we head on not in. Eight, not even a few hours. Oh man, it's gonna be fun. Yeah. Can't scared. wait, can't wait for you guys to join us. Yeah, yeah man, it's got all my EVP equipment in here, Afro, be here. you'll see more of that. Got my uh, yes or no bell. Trigger object. Trigger object, yep, my camera. This oh, is going to be insane. Alright guys, this guy is going to shut down the air ventilation system so we will have no draft in here, none whatsoever. Pretty easy, let's go to each one. Like the TV remote, okay. That one is not lit up so that one's already off. Alright. You'll, you'll see a green light when they're on. Definitely one. You can feel that nice heat. Those green lights indicate that it's on. It's remote. It is off. Likewise, in here, I'll turn the light on so I can get my camera over there. Up there. That's off. Excellent. So you need the lights on or off? Um, we're going to leave them on until we start. We're going to probably start in about five minutes. We're going to get a hallway cam set up in this hallway to face one of these doors. We're gonna put our trigger objects down. All right. Yep. He's got the light on down there. We're just getting set up. Oh man. This is this is where a lot of the noises are heard. My name is Ryan Lowry, and this is my partner Jerry Waltham. We're gonna be spending the night. All right. Ready, Jerry? Yeah, we gotta turn this light off. Where's the light switch? It's going out of focus. Fire. All right, go ahead and turn it off, Jerry. Boop. Oh, man. I can't see anything. Tell me where I'm walking, okay? Dude, I can't even see with the knife. Hang on, it's out of focus again. I can sort of see. Yeah, I can't see anything. Again, before we started the investigation, the hallway camera caught something really eerie. If you noticed, as Ryan is concluding the hallway setup, the same door that closed in our interview closes again while no one was in that room. Myself and Brad were in a room nearby turning off lights, but the lights in that room were already off. 
To reinforce this, if someone was closing that door, you would have heard footsteps leaving that area. The AC was off and no windows were open as well, so there was no reason for anyone to be in that room to close that door. The shadow is definitely my own since I was turning off a light in the adjacent room, but none of us touched the door. These doors are notorious for shutting by themselves. We didn't know this happened until we reviewed the footage at home. It shocked us both. Starting EVP session. Sore weed house. Oh, I can't even see. Okay, it's coming down. <laughs> Alright, Brad, join us on the investigation. Let's head downstairs. Can you, can you see? Is, is that camera running? Up here, Ryan. Walking down the stairs right now. Is this light on? There's somebody here with us tonight who wants to speak. Let's speak now. We're only going to be in the house for a little bit. the yes or no bell. It was dark and it was cold and there was a feeling almost as if someone was watching you. It's going out of focus. Yeah, it keeps on going out of focus. My camera's fine right now. Was that behind you? What behind Was that you like going It's my feet. I, I heard these loud footsteps right behind me, and I turned Is that behind to see you? real quick, but I asked Brad if it was him, and he tried making the sound of his footsteps. It's my feet. But it wasn't the same. There were three loud shuffles. Why right now? Why right now? I had no idea where they came from. Okay, I see a light from one of the heat AC things down here that didn't get shut off. All right, let me go address that. All right. I saw like an orb fly by you, dude. Did it? I did. We got the EVP rolling. Okay. Let's uh. Let's do a walkthrough and then. You want to talk to us? This is your opportunity. All right. Um. Do you guys want to hunger down, stand around, and do an EVP session? Yeah. I'll okay. Go well, right I'm going to sit in this chair right here. Yeah. I'm actually gonna go upstairs. You guys can stay down here if you want. I'm gonna go upstairs. All right, I'm gonna go upstairs. I can't see a thing. Somebody here with us? If you want to talk to us, if you want to talk to us, you're welcome. Ah, man, you're welcome to talk with us. We're not here to bother you. When Ryan was walking into a room, he captured a startling EVP saying, Do you love me? With the extramarital affairs affecting Mr. and Mrs. Sorrell's lives, is it possible we captured one of the many fights they had? We're not here to bother you. We're not here to bother you. 
We're not going to bother you. This strange yelling was also caught on the hallway cam, and it sounds even closer. No one heard this at the time. Let me, let me see the K2 meter. Okay, this sucker, just in case we get a reaction from the yes or no bell, I want the EVP and the K2 meter right nearby, just so we see something. Talk to me. I was scared. I really was. Um, I'd never done something like that before. I didn't know what to expect. Yeah. If you hear any noises above us. Ryan, I don't think you should be up there while we're down here. It's a lot of contamination. So come come back down here, just hunker down with us, okay? Thanks. Um, okay, so let's fill you in, Ryan. We've got the uh, um, K2 meter, the EVP recorder uh, settled down right under the yes or no bell, so. Okay, so uh, come over here. Just uh, sit down on the ground or something. Yeah, hang on. What is going on with this thing? What's up? This thing's going out of whack. Do you, did you see that? Brad, do you see that behind Ryan? Oh, um, yeah, in the room, yes. Oh my god. Like, what the f And it was off, it wasn't on the door either. It was like a flashing light. It was, no, like there was some strobing thing right behind you, Ryan. And it moved to the left. It, it's to my left. It, like... I, I agree. I concur. I saw it. What do you think? Was this light paranormal or can it be explained? Decide for yourself in the comments section. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Did you get it on camera? Yes. <laughs> All right, Ryan. So oh, sit, man. It doesn't, sit down. doesn't like me very much. Sit down. Um, if you really want history on that, Ryan probably nailed it when he said it doesn't like me very much. It's the psychics who come through here say that in that room. There's an angry presence in that room. There is. Right. And sometimes even the day tour guides, and we're talking bringing people in here at 2 p.m. on a daytime history tour with all the lights on, will stand outside that room and refuse to go in. Well, we have to go in there. Here, Ryan wants to do this. Let's go with him right now. Yeah, it was around there. No, if we want to try to rule out non-paranormal, there is some light. Mm -hmm. yeah, but I don't think Why is this, this, this keeps on going out of focus? Why is it going out of focus? That's interesting because we will have still photography having trouble focusing in here. Um, you can hear the lens uh, try. Oh, know, yeah. And you hear it go back and forth and not focus in this room. Then I go outside this room. Oh, by the way, we got focus. Right. I'm walking to your left. Ask, um, let's start asking uh, some questions. All right, let, let me start off. You got it recording? Yeah, but it keeps on, I know you can't see it on the camera, but it keeps on stopping at 39 for some reason. It keeps stopping at the number 39, and then I gotta rec I gotta record it again. Mine's recording so, right now. For some reason, it always, it's always stopping at 39 seconds. Okay, that, that's strange. Okay, well, mine is recording right now, so. There is a fine line between an unexplained orb and a normal light anomaly. For instance, the light seen here is from Ryan's infrared seen as a lens flare on my camera. This can often be mistaken as paranormal. These orbs are known as lens flare orbs. You can see my camera moving with the orb as well. We try to debunk these occurrences as much as possible. Why don't you like me? It might not be just you, dude. I think it's all of us. <laughs> it doesn't like... Do you not like us in here? There's a bell over there. There's a bell. You can tap it once for yes and twice for no. Do you want us in here? There's a bell in the middle of the room over there, not in the room we're in right now, near the staircase. 
it keeps on going out of focus. We conducted an EVP session for about 10 to 15 minutes and got no response to our questions. We were capturing unexplainable orb anomalies followed by freezing blasts of cold air soon after. Are you standing right in front of me right now? Ryan, hold my EVP right behind. Did you hear that? Is that you, Brad? Are you hearing that? That was above us. That was above us. Are you hearing that? Yeah. While we were downstairs, we heard thumping sounds directly above us. Here it is again on Ryan's camera. Ryan, hold my EVP right behind. Did you hear that? Is that you, Brad? That was above us. That was above us. Are you hearing that? Yeah. We looked everywhere for what the crashing was, but we didn't find anything broken or on the floor. It is entirely possible that these metallic noises were residual. Follow me. Ryan. Dude, what we just heard was random footsteps dropping off this. Whoa. Whoa. Did you, dude, something just knocked in this. Whoa, here, come on, let's go. Oh my Is there someone in this room with us right now? We can hear you. Where did you sing off where? Right in front of me. I just heard something like right in front of me. Yeah, I heard it too. You heard that? Yeah. It was like a thump. I just didn't know where it was coming It was like a thump. We caught a very clear EVP that sounds like someone is speaking from a distance when all three of us were close by. Ryan's camera strangely glitches right before you hear it, which could have been caused by an electromagnetic disturbance related to this EVP. It was like a thump. Okay, uh, it was a loud thump. Like a thump. Thump. Okay, uh, it was a loud thump. No one's outside? Good. No one's outside. Let me see if that was anything. <laughs> what? What the f***? Dude, what the f***? It pulled on my shirt. It pulled on my shirt, dude. What the f***? Was it right over here? Yeah, it pulled on my shirt. Oh my it god. It pulled on my shirt. It was apparent we were not alone. As we concluded the investigation in the basement, we decided to head upstairs and see what we could capture. The basement was proving a nuisance to our visual equipment, as a clear shot was becoming increasingly difficult. Here to listen. Could you tell me what your name is? There's a device in the middle of this table. You can speak into it and I'll be able to hear you. I can't hear you right now, but... After I say I can't hear you right now, I captured on my camera's audio a loud knocking sound coming from the chair in the corner of the room. What's even better is that after amplifying the audio, you can clearly hear an EVP which I believe to be a male who responds to my statement. Could this be a spirit hitting something out of the frustration of not being heard? I can't hear you right now, but... I didn't hear the voice oh. at the time, but I did hear the knocking confirming it on camera. As Ryan was taking pictures, he captured a light anomaly in the top right of the photo. What's strange is Ryan came to this house before and took a photo in this area that's undeniably an apparition of Mr. Moxley himself. You can even see right through him. If you look even closer, you can make out two eyes, a head, shoulders, and a mouth. I just got an orb. I think I got a picture of it. The longer we stayed up on the second floor, it seemed that all of the paranormal activity was gravitating towards this side of the house. Okay, now we got a little bit of focus. Let's see. Oh, it is so cold over here. I feel it too. My hand. I'm going to ask this. It's certain spots. 
you can feel it hitting you and then you know it. You just know it. After all the noises we were hearing, we decided to head downstairs for one final attempt to capture any evidence of the paranormal before we would go into the carriage house. Do you see Ryan, how blurred he is? Yeah. I can't even see his face. You're, you're all blurred, dude. I don't know why. Is there, is there a reset focal button there? Or is there something I can No. See? Here, let's go in this room again. So this is your room, eh? I don't know if it's your room. I don't even know if you're in here. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. Something just touched my arm. Something just touched my arm in. Let's try to roll out spider web or thread. I don't think we got any here though. No. I just, I, I something like was like pulling that. So we were just leaving the area and we've been provoking, and I felt tingling sensation on the hairs of my arm, and it felt like the fingers went down my arm, and then I, I, I felt like the hairs stand up as well. So now you're trying to make yourself known, huh? Can hmm? Can you do anything? Like, honestly? I can't see past this door on the night vision. Guys, guys, I can't see past this door. Oh my god. Where is my my thing? It's in my pocket. You are so blurred right now. I'm gonna this room with the cameras have trouble focusing. Look very, very comfortable. You look <gasps> What? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Something grabbed my hand, dude. Are you serious? Jesus Christ. Okay, alright. You got my attention. Can you unblur the camera like for real? Come on now. Like seriously, this is really aggravating. <laughs> And you're kind of pissing me off, and I don't really care if you're pissed, okay? Because, like, seriously, come on. Okay, I'm walking out of this room. Screw you. And your camera focusing crap tactics trying to get us out. God, I'm trying to, okay, it's focused now. If I go back in this room, are you going to unfocus this camera again? You son of a, why are you... Why are you? I'm right behind you. How are you doing, Brad? You've got me in focus. No. God damn. I was sitting out. I'm gonna flash the camera. Ready? Whoa. What is going on? Is your infrared even on? Yeah. We got a strange orb anomaly in the top right of this 35mm film photo. It was taken in the room that was said to harbor an angry presence. Out of focus. Okay. Okay. Do you want to move? Yeah, we'll go to the carriage house. Alright, well, I mean... Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. 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 <gasps> Jeez! What the f***? I just saw something right in front of me, man. Yeah, That's I think I, I got it on camera. I got it, I think. There was, oh my god. Jesus Christ. There was literally something right here. I saw right a shoulder. Oh my god, dude, it's freezing. It's freezing Holy cold. Holy sh**. Oh my, oh man, it's cold right, right here. Right here in this, dude, it's colder than, oh my god. Oh my god. What? Oh my god. I just felt a rush of air. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey, that was pretty good. Not good enough, though. I'm stuck. <laughs> no, I mean, it's I'm out sure. of focus again. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dude, oh my god. That was crazy, Ryan. Dude, I saw the. I saw like a shoulder. You saw what I saw? Yeah, I saw it. It was right in front of me. And I, it was cold as Where is I felt the day? blast. 
I remember when I was filming in the basement, I was watching only the panel on the side of the camera, and I was looking at the screen and I noticed Jerry had stopped walking and he sounded like he started to panic. I look up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, jeez. What the f I just saw something right in front of me, man. I could see this, this black mass. When I snapped the photo, I didn't capture it, but I know what I saw with my eyes that night. The experiences didn't end at the main house. Our second part of the investigation, the carriage house, had a personality of its own. All right, guys, we're in the carriage house where Molly was said to have been found to have hung herself. Is that right? But really murdered. They tried to pin suicide on her unjustly. She was really murdered. Well, you heard it. This is where this is where it all happened. The most innocent of victims, and just and, and again. The highest flattery I get on a tour from someone claiming to be psych is to say that they'll see the ghost of a black woman standing back in that corner smiling at me as I tell the story of how she was set up and murdered for crimes she didn't commit. Well, Molly, and, uh, we're here for you. All right. Molly, the... Molly. The most sympathetic, the most innocent victim in the whole sad drama, and the one for whom I have the most compassion. Well, I, Matilda had a rough time too. Yeah. But nobody had a worse time than someone who was murdered for a crime she didn't commit. Yeah. That's just tragic. That's sad. That's just. That's just pathetic. The way he did it, he did it because it wasn't so scandalous the master had an affair with the wife. Or, pardon me, a slave. It was scandalous that the wife committed suicide over it. Well, then that made the master look like what he really was, which was a poor excuse for a husband. Mm -hmm. But he couldn't have that now, could he? So he had to try to blame it on Molly by making it look like she committed suicide, that, that freaking monster. Yeah. You know, to try to take that the onus of shame and blame off. What a man. Yeah, Paul. really, absolutely. Molly, we feel for you, okay? Exactly. So. Unbeknownst to us, we caught a very startling and relevant EVP right after I say, we feel for you, Molly. It sounds a lot like a woman saying something. We want to put it up to your interpretation. Then we'll show ours. So, so, so. Now here's our interpretation. So, so, so. And if I can, and if I can take that as her, hey, Molly, then I take that as her seal of approval. Yeah, this guy's getting my story right. Is it possible we captured the only known voice of Molly the slave? Her past has been erased by history. And is it possible, after all these years, Brad finally told the right version? The only evidence we may have is the... So, it's funny, there are hooks up here from which to hang these things. I got a sappy, sentimental thing about damsels in distress, so I like Molly and Matilda both. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, We're just going to treat her nicely. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's the deep... She depressed. deserves to be treated I'm nicely. <laughs> all right, Brad. All right, man, you got it. All right, here wish, wish us luck, man. Let's turn that light off. And... We shall go upstairs into... Molly, I'm coming upstairs. We can have a quick chat and everything. I'm just letting you know. I don't want to intrude your space. I'm friendly, and I want you to be friendly too. Well, like we uh, discussed before, Ow. this right here. Oh, damn table. Here, so I'm moving. We're gonna have an EVP session, okay? Actually, let's put it right in the middle of the room, right here, right here. Right, right there. Keep fro right there. Mr. Brid. Molly, if you want to communicate with us, you can move these wind chimes. Let us know that you're here. All right? Just let us know. We're here to listen, and we're going to wait. We're just here to talk to you, Molly. That's all. That's all we want to do. Oh, I just got... <gasps> I just got... 
I have the laser over there. No. Okay, laser. Maybe it's off. dust. I don't know. It looks like orbs. Four. Well, I'm gonna put the. Uh, K2 meter right. Next. Oh, dude. What? There's like orbs and like. It's blurring my camera. Really? And. Make a noise. You can. I get the weirdest sensation. What? Okay, I feel. I don't really know how to describe it. Molly, you're very friendly. Thank you very much for welcoming us into your, into your abode. Thank you. We caught an unexplainable tapping sound that we didn't hear with our own ears. Molly. Molly. Are you with me, Molly? It's a certain point. I'll be sitting here and I'll feel like the air from outside, or just the atmosphere of it being cold outside, but then all of a sudden it gets warm and then or it'll get freezing cold. Another one, another blast of cold. It's, oh my. All right, I'm out of battery. You're out of battery? Yep, unfortunately. Powering down. Well, Molly, we've only got 15 minutes left. This is your 15 minutes of fame. We want to broadcast, we want to tell the world about your message. What is your message to us? Please speak into the devices, the tools that we have on the floor. They're not harmful. Use them. Use them to speak with us. Use them. Let's go there. Are you here with us? I'm sorry, I'm just filming. Oh, no, focus again. All right, move, go in, keep going. Yep, going out. There's something with us, apparently. Mine's good Brad's, right now. Yeah, Brad said it goes out of focus. It's a common occurrence. Ah, there goes my battery. My oh, well, battery's dead. I still have got 11 minutes left. You have 11 minutes left? 11 minutes, oh, yes, geez. sir. Well, um, Molly, if you can do something for us, we know, okay, we know this was a tragic place for you, okay? Show the world that you are here. Can you move that door for us? I'll get out of the way. We'll wait or, here. Or move the wind chimes or, or do something, you know? Show us that you're there, that you're here. Who killed you, Molly? Here, hold this. Okay. All right, got it. All right. Molly, who killed you? We want to put this mystery to rest. Let everyone know, okay? Tell us. Tell us now. Okay, this is the area where um, a psychic was said to... Uh, have seen a um, African American woman staring at Brad, who's the tour guide, while he was giving an explanation of um, how sorry he feels and how sympathetic he feels for Molly. I mean, everyone should feel this way. It's tragic. But. No. Molly, we're very happy that you're taking the time to uh, interact with us, even though we can't hear you most of the time, but thank you very much. The ghosts of the Sorrel Weed House have always had a story to tell, and they strive for people to listen. The trapped souls of the building call out to the living in hopes that they will hear them and acknowledge their presence. They are a testimony to the heartache and suffering that happened in this house through the tragic death of Matilda and Molly so. and the many unaccounted deaths. This house has been a witness to hate, love, and murder. The ghost of the Confederate soldier stands guard at the house to make sure his post is still defended long after the war has ended. That was above us. Are you here? Yeah. The spirits that walk these halls made themselves known to us tonight 
and we hope we let them know that they were heard. You saw what I saw? Yeah, I saw it. Savannah, Georgia's reputation as the most haunted city in America has sure outdone itself. If you ever pass by the city and stay the night, you never know what spirits may be with you. Even today, after nearly 150 years, they make themselves known.